Hello and welcome back to this channel. So today's tutorial is going to be about Adobe Fresco. We're going to learn how to actually import some brushes, free brushes from the Adobe website. And then we'll try to create some illustration using some of these brushes and also some techniques like using the lasso tool and stuff like that. So let's just get started. So first off, we're going to create a blank canvas. For that, I'm just going to use something like a small postcard. If you don't want to use that, you can also click on custom size and then you can give your own dimensions here. If you click here, you can choose whatever you want. And then obviously give this as well. But since I already have this small postcard size, which comes by default with this application, I'm just going to use that. All right. So first, let's learn about how to import brushes. You might already know that Adobe Fresco comes with three different kinds of brushes. One is pixel brush, another one is live brushes, and then it's vector brushes. If you want to import any brushes, you have the option under pixel brush because Fresco lets you import Photoshop brushes as well. That is any brushes that have a dot .abr after their names. So let's just try and import some brushes right now. So I'm just going to go ahead and click on these brushes and then scroll down and you can see something called as library brushes. These are the brushes that you would import and they are not the default ones. And I have so many of these and you can get these as well. It's completely free. So you just have to go all the way down here and click on plus. And you can click on either import from files. That is if you have your files already downloaded. Otherwise, if you want more brushes, you can just click on get more brushes. And let's just do that. If you click on this, let me just get my cute cat for a little bit of support. Okay, it takes you to the Adobe Photoshop download page. And here you can see something called as new release spring 2020 brushes. Obviously, you will have to be signed in to this account and you can get all the exclusive brushes from Kyle T. Webster. I hope I pronounced his name right. He's a famous person who makes these really awesome brushes. If you have used Photoshop, you would know who this person is. Anyway, when you scroll down, you can see so many, so many brushes here. Uh, you have different kinds and each of these, for example, this has 300 of them. That's amazing. Anyway, you can just scroll all the way down and see what kind of brushes you want. Since I've installed most of them, I'm just going to scroll down and maybe winter 2018 brushes and you can just click on download. Do you want to download? Click on download. So this is going to get downloaded into the system. And now let's go back into Adobe Fresco. Go back here and then click on press again and then you can click on import from files. Don't worry about the icons here because I have Affinity Designer installed. So it's just taking that icon here. It might look completely different for you. OK, so we, here is all our brushes that we downloaded. So this one, it's going to recent. So that's exactly where your files might open up or otherwise you might have to click on browse here and actually find where they are. They'll most probably be in downloads if you click on them and I think you can see them there anyway. So I'm just going to go back. But as you can see, my winter brushes are still actually downloading. So I'm not going to use that as an example for this tutorial. So maybe we'll just try something else. OK, I just found that I haven't put in the cross hatch this one. So I just have to click on that and then it says it's importing brush. OK, so we are here and uh, now if you click on cross hatch, you can see all the different brushes that you have. And, you know, that's awesome. So this is exactly what we want. So you can actually import all your Photoshop brushes by copying them onto some folder on your iPad and then just click on plus import from files and go to that particular folder and then you can import it here. See how easy that is. I'm just going to click on cancel. OK, so undo this. You can actually double tap. Now it's time to make some illustration and I'm going to show you something very simple. Before that, I'm just going to move this to the right side. So if you're wondering what this does, usually if you click on it and if you have a brush selected, it becomes an eraser. Um, we don't need it right now. I don't use it much because I don't know. Anyway, you can just pinch and zoom like this and make it whatever size you want. And if you see here layers, I'm just going to switch it up. This one says an image, which is a background. And if you want to hide something, you just click on this and click on this eye button here and it hides it. But let it be there. We need some background right now. 
and now click on this new layer which comes off automatically so let's draw some lemons or oranges or something like that so i'm just going to go to my brush and um, i'll just go to my gouache brushes which you can actually download again and then let's go to da -da -da, um, gouache blade the first one okay and let me just draw okay i like this double click i mean two finger tap sorry about that now let's choose some colors so obviously the color palettes here you can always choose this you know bring it up and whatever you could do that if that's your thing but if you don't want to do all those things you should also know that it brings in all the color themes that you have saved in illustrator if you have that i would generally suggest that you go ahead and use those and also these are fresco colors that is i kind of use these things previously so i have all those here as well i created some swatches kind of thing anyway you can go to your library that is your the one on illustrator or you can go to fresco colors i mean i'm just going to use this for now and okay so let's start up i'll use some yellow i want to make some lemon kind of thing it's not exactly a lemon but let's assume it as we're not making something how you say it like something to sell to somebody we're just creating for fun so it's okay and now i'm going to fill this up with my pen so if you don't want to do this like if you're not using something which is so textured like it has all these textures and if you're using some brush which is like clean and you just want to fill in color you can always use this paint bucket tool so you just click on this make sure that the region is completely like connected and then you just press and then it colors it up so i'm just going to undo that because i don't want that but if you have something like this and okay let me make it so that there's a tiny opening there and let me try to use this it colors up the whole thing and you definitely don't want that so two finger tap to undo that let's get back to our brush and fill this in you can turn the canvas around to pointy okay so i'm gonna make a couple of tiny ones okay our lemons are ready and now it's time to make some oranges so i'm just going to click on this new layer here and choose an orange color or pink i like this this is like a mix between pink and orange and it's beautiful uh we can use the same brush if you want oh no let's change it up a little bit and let's make this bristle super dry and let's draw an orange whoa this is big if you want to adjust the size of your brush sorry i didn't cover that earlier you can just click on this and reduce it here you this is called as smoothing when you draw a line you can see there's a lot of glitches happening if you increase the smoothness completely and you can see how it moves the only thing with increasing the smoothing to 100 percent is that even if it is smooth and nice there's a lag between your pencil and the brush ends, which is usually not nice so i'm just going to undo that and reduce the size and let's mm, this is still too big just do this oops uh you know what i don't like this brush i thought it it's gonna look awesome but no i have no idea i haven't tried out all these brushes mainly because there's so many of them okay this is cool i think it's almost the same as the previous one and let's make some here as well If this comes up, that's because you touched this scale button here. Just click on that, it goes away. Make sure the opacity is set to high, that is 100%. Otherwise, some brushes have this low opacity, so it kind of gets weird. This part is ready, and now I'll click on one more layer. And now we're going to do something different. So let's select this one here. If you cannot see it, if you click on it again, and there are many options, and let's select the one which is like, you know, this one so i'm just going to take a bit of page and just draw a circle so this part gets selected and now you can see different options here 
I'm not going to cover this in detail today, but I'm just going to try to make illustration because this tutorial was mainly about how to get more brushes and how to use them. So, okay. And now we go back to our brush, go back here and let's go back and select comic. And here you have so many options. That is half tone. If you have read manga, you know what her half tone is. So let's click on this half tone four and let's just see how it looks. Perfect. So I'm just going to change a bit of color here because um, let's make it green, I guess, and then draw this. And now if you click on deselect, now go ahead and select this again and let's make something here. Go back to your brush. Let's do dark. One is enough and deselect. Now I'll click on new layer and you can go ahead and change the color if you want. And I think I'll take some oops, red and go back to your tool. And I, we downloaded right now the crosshatch, right? And they look so awesome. The first one which we did. Yeah, this looks so nice. Now let's go to a selection tool and uh, let's do something like this. So that's a little overlapping over there and go back to your tool and let's increase the size a little bit. So it's now nah, more, that's too much. Let's decrease it. That looks fine, but I'm gonna pull this and put it in the back so that it looks something like that. And what is this? What happens if we increase? Mm, doesn't matter much, so let it be like that. Actually, I want a bit more here. Oh, this is full on dark. We don't want so red. And let's change the color to maybe um, this one. It's still very dark, very, very, very dark. Okay, and you can click on deselect and everything gets deselected. I kind of don't like this. I'm going to hide it. Okay, let's continue with that. We're gonna do some more of these tricks and you can make any shape you want. It need not be round, it can be square or anything that you want. And I did not like cross hatch, so I'm going to go back and go back to my comics section. And there is a cross hatch here, and I think I like this one. So I will select some other color because um, I like this green. Uh, where are we? We are in this layer, and that's why it's like that. So I'm just gonna go here and press extra. And then, oh, I like that. But you can make it smaller and something like this. And I like that. Okay, I'm gonna place it so far down and then click on deselect and now we can make more of these um i think a square here would be nice go back okay all right but before we go ahead i want to make some leaves and stuff so i'll click on this and i like that green but i think i like this more okay let's go ahead and select a brush i i think i'll take some vector brushes basic round and um but before that let's move this all the way down behind and okay let's do that this is okay and as you can see it creates a different layer i mean it's already on a different layer anyway but you can see these icons here so this is a pixel brush but this icon means that it's a vector brush so just so you know so you can never draw a pixel and a vector on the same layer it has to be on a different layer a cross hatch needs to go in a different layer as well down here now it's time for lemon. Let's change the color a bit to this one. Let's decrease the size. All right, but we need some spots on our lemons. So we're gonna use the selection tool again, and that's the fun part. So I'm just going to go ahead and select the yellow that we had for here. Okay, and then move more towards white. So it's really pale in color and then click on the selection tool and you should be on the lemon layer or you can also press different layer like this. It really doesn't matter so much. And let's zoom in and let's make a round like this. And you can go ahead and do that on all before starting to color. Let's take some gouache brush because why not? wash and let's make this bristle and click on deselect and your thing is ready you could also use white so if i go ahead and do unselect undo 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 
and you go back and select a white that is fully up here in this corner and now if you do this and click deselect and you have your lemon ready and now let's do that for oranges now go ahead and select but you can do it on a different layer to preserve it let's make some rounds like this okay this one we're not going to give white we will actually select the color so one more trick to selecting the color you just press and hold on the color but you should not be in selection tool you should be in your brush tool and press and hold on the color and it picks that color up which is great and now you can go here and then slide all the way down to make it a little light pink and then you can brush okay and then deselect and your stuff is ready okay it's time to make more background let's go ahead and i'm just going to add one of these things here You can also add some round baubles here. And now let's get here and oops, click on plus. And now let's go and do some selection and something like this. I'm going to go back to my comic. And here I have different half tones, so I can select anything that I want. Uh, we already did this, so let's do this, I guess. Yeah, this is. A bit bigger but how about this yeah that's nice so i'm just gonna go ahead and choose some different color a bit orangish or whatever and try to draw something like this i want more cross hatch actually so i'm just gonna go there and select this go back to my cross hatch but this time i'm going to use some other color i want some greenish or maybe this one and then like that, deselect. I want more here. It's just a big mess, you know, and uh, that's how we want. All right, so our illustration is ready. Uh, once you're done with your illustration, you can just click on the share button here or publish and export or quick export. If you click on this, it gives you some options to save, etc. And if you want publish and export, here you get more options like export as, you can use a PNG, or whatever and then you can export it i guess that's it uh, we made our postcard you can print it out it'll be perfect you can also transfer it to illustrator or photoshop to finish off your work if you want to and i hope you like this tutorial if you liked it please give me a like and subscribe to my channel and let me know if you want to learn more about adobe fresco oh by the way if you want to get freebies uh, do subscribe to my newsletter I do give freebies every month and it's just once a month newsletters so I won't be spamming you and um, I think I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.